With great power comes great responsibility and I, being one of Singapore's most handsome, charming, charismatic YouTubers with a regular sized forehead, I wield immense power and therefore have the heavy responsibility to keep you losers in check. You know, it's, it's tough. It's tough being me when you're so fucking famous. Everybody wants your attention. Everybody wants a piece of the sushi. Not sure why I pointed down there. No sexual innuendo was intended. I've been noticing an increasing trend where you... <laughs> You low-life troglodytes attempt to claw at my balls, begging for attention via my Instagram DMs. Oh no, 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 that's unacceptable. My Instagram DMs have become an emotional dumpster, a cesspool of weird sex-deprived remarks from you. So today we're gonna we're gonna take a little peek, you know, like a like, like a little peeping tom into my Instagram DMs and review some of the ridiculous uh, DMs that I have received. Nay, that I've been haunted by and scarred. Because some of you just can't resist displaying your stupidity online. <laughs> I'm hungry, sushi. Do I look like your mom? Do I look like your grab delivery rider? Why the f fuck would I care if you're hungry or not? Oh, oh, what's this? One of you just DM'd me that you're hungry. Let, let me just, let me just go take my umbrella and float over to your house like Mary fucking Poppins to deliver you some food. You can garnish it with that pea brain of yours. Have you peed today? Because I haven't. I have peed already, thanks for asking. What is the, the point of that DM? What, is it code for something? Is it, are you trying to tell me something? Have you peed today because I haven't? Are you dehydrated? Do you have a urinary tract infection? Why would you think it was a good idea to tell me this? What can I actually do about it? I'm sorry, but you're telling this to the wrong person. I'm not your gynecologist. Atheists be like, you cannot spell Jesus without sus. Just like how you cannot spell sushi without sus. So according to atheists, you are not real. <gasps> Thank you for your time. Thank you for this incredibly pointless DM. But I am actually not real. I, I actually do not exist. It's true, this video that you're watching right now is just a figment of your imagination. Have you ever seen me in real life? Rhetorical question, no. No, you haven't. I'm simply an imaginary manifestation of your psyche. Just take a closer look at the phone you're watching this video on right now. You're actually watching a blank screen. This video does not exist. <laughs> Sushi, how are you so goddamn cute? See, even my class idolizes you. Drop some tips on how to be so cute. Well, not everyone can master the art of being, you know, cute. Not everyone is born with my beautiful jawline, perfect facial symmetry, flawless complexion. But young one, you can always pretend to be cute. In this current environment of cloud chasing and superficial ideals, all you gotta do is put on a TikTok filter and bam, a mountain troll becomes a member of the Wings Club. If you're a girl, just fake it till you make it. You know, catfish a rich man on TikTok with those heavy filters and bam, your life is set. If you're a guy, why the fuck do you want to be cute? Just go hit the gym, you know? My mom's pussy is tastier than yours. No, no, my mom, my mom's pussy is tastier than, than yours. My mom's pussy is the, is the, is the best? No, that's, I, I can't say that. Look what you've made me done. Ew, that's, that's wrong. I'm not gonna say that. But your mom's pussy is, is stanky, ew. Ew. Adopt me, daddy. You know, we have a major crisis in our city right now. We have our youngins out here asking random YouTubers to adopt them. Calling strangers, daddy. Your parents probably think you are a complete failure, but that is okay. I am here to help you and to solve this growing number of displaced youth in our city. So if there's anyone of you who wants to be adopted by you know, yours truly. Just send me an email detailing your available skill set, the amount of food intake you require per day, and whether you're okay to be locked up in a basement 18 hours a day to edit my videos. I mean, come on, I need to have an ROI if I were to provide you with free food and shelter, right? Surely you don't expect me to adopt you just because I... <laughs> I care about you? <laughs> Ew. Sushi Koko, there's this one annoying bitch in school. What should I do? I guess I'm a therapist now. Um, but right off the bat, you're already giving me very bitchy vibe. You sound like a bully. The fact that you said that there is an annoying bitch in your school is already a red flag. But to answer your question, you don't really have to do anything, right? Just let that annoying bitch go about doing her, you know, annoying bitch things. Until you graduate, then you won't have to see her anymore. Unless she starts messing with you, then you gotta give her a tight slap across the face, right? Because you, you do not let anyone disrespect you. But there is a more pressing issue that I want to address in this comment. <sighs> Okay, here goes. You know, I, I guess it's I guess it's time that I addressed this issue. It is an issue of grave importance and something that has been eating me inside for the longest time. <sighs> I I absolutely hate it when you guys call me Gaw. 
Go, go, sushi go, go. Sushi go, f- no, fuck you. Stop, no. No, you know, a little part of me dies inside every time I see those words, go, go, being uttered in my comments and my DMs. I, I hate it. I hate it. Please, stop. I, I, I'm not even, I'm not even joking. This isn't a joke. I'm not even being sarcastic. I genuinely hate it. When people call me sushi koko, it makes it just makes me feel like I'm a sales staff at a Abing handphone shop. Hey, can I have one screen protector or not? I'm not your koko. Okay? God, please stop. Stop calling me that. I'm not your koko. Okay, I, I hate that word or phrase. Ew. I need a shit real bad. I can feel my shit oozing out. Why do people see the need to tell me about their excretion activities? Okay, then go go take a shit then. Go. Am I your form teacher? You don't have to ask me for permission to go to the toilet to take a shit. I don't need to know about your daily activities, okay? You guys like telling me about your daily activities? Okay. Okay, af- after I film this video, I'm gonna I'm gonna drink a glass of water. Okay, I'm gonna drink a glass of water. I'm gonna I'm gonna eat dinner. I'm gonna eat dinner. Then maybe I'll watch some TV. Then after that, I'll I'll you know scratch my butt because cause it may be itchy. Then I'll go back into my room and watch some Netflix. Is that interesting? Is, is that interesting? How about I just make a 10 minute video, just going about my daily life? Actually, that's what a lot of vloggers do, right? <laughs> okay, I'm I'm setting a rule for DMing me right now. If actually don't even DM me, don't. Don't. But if you just have this burning urge, burning desire to, for some reason, send a stranger on the internet a DM, here's the rule. At least, at least tell me something informative. At least tell me something interesting, a, a life story, you know, an interesting happening in Singapore. Something that engages my mind on the rare chance that I open the septic tank of degeneracy, aka my Instagram DM. Then at least I'll have some entertainment, you know, when I'm sitting down on my toilet, scrolling through my DMs, you know, rather than reading about how much you need to take a shit. Yeah, so those are the kind of DMs that I've been receiving. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, but honestly, I, I guess some of the DMs are kind of funny, you know. Most of them are just... The- pointless. But uh, let me know if you enjoyed this video. I might read more of my DMs. I don't if know. If this video made you smile, consider subscribing. It's free and you can really unsubscribe anytime you want. Not every one of you who watched my videos are subscribed. So hit that button because it really helps the channel out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.